Welcome back to Teaching Tuesdays with EAS. I am Suzanne Metz. Today we're going to talk about some cartwheel issues. A lot of times when we're teaching little ones cartwheels, we have a really difficult time getting that back hip to turn under because every time we teach them skills, things like handstands and such, we're always coming down on our good leg. So it is more difficult to come down on our bad leg or non-dominant leg. All right, come here, turn around first. Turn around first. Okay, so she is a righty. So when she finishes this cartwheel, she's gonna come down, put your right leg behind you, your other right leg. There we go. We're gonna come down in this position. So we're gonna work through this T lever action at the end of our cartwheel. So let's go ahead, we're gonna turn around and we're gonna put our hands on the balance beam. And we're gonna, I'm gonna spot her today and we're gonna put our back leg on the mat. Squeeze your ears, big step. Good, square the hip down, press. Excellent, tight leg, tight leg, good extension. And we're really working, over exaggerate this, Hip open and push that hip down really tall, strong leg. Good, perfect, go ahead and step in. Drill number two, we're gonna cartwheel to squat. Again, we're working on the same shoulder and hip rotation down to square us up with the balance beam. Arms up, squeeze your ears, chin off your chest, and nice and slow, nice and calm. Turn, squat, good. Let's try that again, we're gonna do that a few times. We're over exaggerating the shoulder and the hip turn down to the beam. And they can kind of self-correct once they realize where their hips are going. Good, nice, excellent. Go ahead and come on up. Now another thing to reinforce the hip squaring, have them play around with a couple switch leg cartwheels because they have to switch their legs. Now you're gonna kick up on your good leg and come down on your good leg. Nice and easy, good. Go ahead and try that again. We'll do a couple more. Stretch tall, tummy in, and good. All right, my last drill is their favorite. We call this like the wall of death. We're gonna do a strong cartwheel, drive in the back leg, suck in our belly, and work up against that cheese mat best we can. Stretch tall, big step, suck your belly in, good. All right, let's do a couple more. They can self-correct because if they're over here, they can, they'll know that they kicked sideways. If they're falling off that way, they close their hips. Tummy in, ribs in, and turn, foot down, up. Perfect, that was beautiful. For a lot of athletes, coming down on a cartwheel is uncomfortable because it's their non-dominant leg. So just taking out the cartwheel aspect, I like to drill it up against a wall so we can kick up to handstand. She's a righty, kicking up to handstand, kick it up against the wall. Right handstand position, left leg extends. Good, she's gonna look down, she watch it, and squeeze the ears, push and finish. Excellent. All right, that was a collection of cartwheel drills, working on squaring up the shoulders, the hips, and landing on the non-dominant leg. I'm Suzanne Metz with EAS and Teaching Tuesdays.